Good evening, YouTubers. I just brushed my teeth, so I've got all this water all over me. Um, another episode. We are going to the beach. Um, we're going to try to chase some dewfish. I don't know if we're going to succeed, but we're going to chase some some brim as well, and maybe some whiting off the beach. Um, it's going to be freezing, so I'm going to rug up to the max. But I just want to show you guys what I'm going to use and how I'm going to set up for juice. Because um, I'm not too sure how many of my viewers have gone for juice off the beach. And whoever hasn't gone for juice off the beach, it's it's a good experience. It's, uh, I'm not going to say I, I love it, but it's it's something different. And considering I'm just down the road, um, it, I definitely have to um, try. A guy the other day I heard caught a 32 kilo jewfish with plastics throwing into the surf so that's just amazing right there but um, I just want to show you what I'm going to do and what I'm going to take so I'm taking my 11 foot rod okay so you need something fairly fairly big and strong to handle because when the jewfish take off in the surf it's kind of like the surf's pushing and the jewfish is pushing and it, it can really stuff you around so I've got this reel here it's a really good reel it's um the Saltus LTD 5000 okay and it's got a little ball handle on it they just feel great you know I've got on there I've only got I think 30 or 40 pound but that's pretty strong um, I'm a bit worried about the poundage on it if I do hook up something big but you know after last night how many times I got snapped is just absolutely crazy so like like all the other setups that I'll do in the harbour I don't know if you've seen but it's a little slider here with a sinker you clip on a sinker like a star sinker onto it and I've got some 40 pound but on my, my other rod on this rod I'm actually going to upgrade it to 60 pound okay because I don't want to lose any fish so this one I'm actually going to cut off see if we can get back a bit because so too close um so that's the size hooks their size like I said, I'm hopeless with hooks. Um, maybe like size six, maybe, I don't know. But that's, that's you know, big enough to go in their mouth and, and hook them. So what I'm gonna do here, I forgot to tell you what I'm gonna do. So that's one of the rods. So I'm gonna be a bit greedy. I'm gonna cut, chuck two out, two out. So I'm gonna try to get some um, small mullet, catch the mullet and chuck out one with mullet on it, swimming around. And then I've got some fresh squid in the freezer that I caught not long ago. So I'm going to use that. And then I've got another rod. It's not huge, but it's pretty, you know, fairly long, 10 foot. Smaller reel on it, and I'm going to go for big brim. So I want to, I want to be a big side. I just want to sit there, you know, with one rod out, waiting for a dewfish. It's going to be boring. I'm going to try to get a few different things. Try to get a brim, try to get, you know, whatever's around. If there is anything around, hopefully there is. So I've got another rod. Everywhere. I've got another rod right here. So this is probably going to be my my one I put squid on. Rods falling everywhere. So same kind of setup. I've got this one is an old assaultist. It's an old assaultist and it's um, it's quite strong. And I've got thirty pound on that. And you've all seen the sea jiggers. It's the Daiwa sea jiggers. They're brilliant. The rods are so long. So same kind of setup. I'm not going to really change this at all. Because I'm just going to keep this 
maybe yeah keep that about that that hook size sounds perfect and what sinker I'm gonna use one of these big ones so it stays out there and um, yeah it stays out there and doesn't Thank you for having me. No worries. Thank you for having me. Cheers. So, my son's just had some girls over. <laughs> boys will be boys. Um, yeah, so on this, which one's that one? So yeah, so on this right here, I'm gonna put one of these ones. That's probably the biggest one in the, in the, in the star sinkers. So this one's pretty much set up. This one really is pretty much set up. So, like I said, 30 pound braid onto a sinker like that, like so, onto the leader and the hook. That's all you need for the beach, pretty much. Um, YouTube and shut up. <laughs> hey, I'm YouTubing. Shut up, kids, mate. Anyway, you gotta love them, but so this rod's ready to go. And glow sticks. You need glow sticks. So when you come to the go to the beach, I know I'm blabbing on, but this is things you need to know. Get yourself a pole, okay? A pole like a uh, like PVC pipe, about that long. Put it into the ground, hammer it into the ground, and then put your rod into it. And always get glow sticks because it's pretty. It's good to be dark. You got to be in the dark when you're on the beach. So you want that the rod to go off, and you want to be able to see it. You know, you want to see uh, if you're getting bites, etc., etc. So this is the other rod I'm going to take down there. It's not that long, it's not that big. And this is the rod I'm gonna go for some brim with. So it's a, it's got a Shimano Therese. It's about nine foot. And I've got one of the Stratix, 5,000 Stratix on it. So if I do get something a little bit heavier, at least I can have some fun with it. So that's all set up. This needs a bigger sinker. So all right, we're set up pretty much. Just waiting for my mate to get here. Like I said, I've got the squid. I've got my bucket so I can try to catch some uh, mullet. I can't find my aerator, so I'm absolutely spewing about that. I had a really nice aerator. And um, yeah, I can't find it. I don't know where it is. I've got some batteries for it and everything. But we're pretty much set. We're gonna dress up, dress up, warm up. Gonna catch some squid. Sorry, we're gonna bring the squid, catch some <laughs> well, mullet, catch some mullet and go from there and go down the beach and catch some fish. So hopefully I'll get some, because I'm pretty excited. I haven't, I've only ever got two joys off the beach ever, so I really can't wait to get one. But um, I'll see you when I'm down there, and hopefully i get one. All right, before we start, um, I found my air, I went and got another air raid actually, just had to go get them. They're pretty good, these buckets. You just put the hose through that hole there, and there's the aerator there, okay? And when you wanna get your bait out, whatever, this just comes out like that, okay? And the bucket's underneath, as you can see. Um, or you can just put it straight in the water, etc., etc. That's what I do to save the batteries. But because I've got a lot of batteries, it doesn't really matter. We are going, there's a few mullet around, but there's not heaps. Ruby, are you taking a shit? No. <laughs> Come here, Ruby. Um, there's a few mullet around, so hopefully we get a few. We're just using this really thin line and a really tiny hook and a little bit of bread, and we'll see if we can get some for the viewers. Hey, bro. Hey, viewers. <laughs> like I said, there's not too many. If you have a, where are they? We're just all swimming around here before. 
Don't tell me I just there's one. I see a couple there. Yeah, they've gone into the darkness out of the way. The pelican. All right, let's see if we can get some. So I got one. Little mullet, perfect for up off the beach. Wow, what a perfect little bait that is. So he's going to go on the live well. Right. The air rate is on. He's in there. Swing around, he'll be fine. Let's get some more. Okay, got to the beach. All our stuff. Um, I just spilled the bucket. <laughs> I grabbed the wrong handle, so I had to walk all the way down to the water with another bucket before these ones died. But uh, what is this thing doing? that's the mullet. We got ended up getting four mullet, so we're going to give them a yell. Not a yell, a fucking a cast. Let's see how we go. Um, yeah, we're going to walk up this track now to the beach. So. See you when we get there. Wow. Beautiful, look at this. What a spot. Wow. Alright, all the rods are set up. I've got that one over there. It's got the live mullet on it. This one here has got a strip. Oh, oh, come on. That's it. Come on. A live strip on it. I mean, a strip, not live strip. Um, and this one's got a little bit of strip. A strip as well, but a little smaller hook. But the current's really going to the right. So, I don't know. Beach fishing's really hard, but I want to try it. I want to at least. You know, I've done it a few times. I haven't got heaps of jewies off the beach. I've got one or two big brim and this and that sharks. But if I get nothing, I'm still going to put this up. Oh, oh, yeah, you're on, you're on, you're on, you're on, you're on. That was on. I think you're still on, bro. It's just, it's just yeah, you're on, you're on. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing? You're going to break the line. Go. Fine. What'd you do? Yes, yes. What's he got? What's he got? Oh, let it run, let it run. You don't want to bust in ya. Yeah, go, go, go. Is it fighting? Yeah, it is. Is it? Yeah, it oh, is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Come on, buddy. What is he? Just as I was saying, I don't want to, I don't know if I'm going to catch something. That's just epic. What? What? What happened? He got off. How the hell did he get off? What the hell? I was watching that fight. He spat it, bro. He spat it. Yeah. Back oh, out. Back out, man. Far out. Got all happy for nothing. Anyway, continue. We haven't been here long. He's on. He's on. He's on. What is he? What is he? Oh. What is he? Oh, fuck me! Why? What Again. the fuck, man? Are you serious? Oh no! He just fucking smoked me! Gone, everything. What the hell? Is that braid? Yes. Oh, braid shit for beach. No, braid no. Not here. I don't know what's going on. I'm rubber. Getting fish that are too big for my stuff, or I'm losing my touch because I really don't know what's going on. I don't know what happened there. It snapped me from my 30 pound braid, and it felt pretty heavy. And I had 60 pound leader, so to break to break 
the, the, the braid is crazy. Oh, it, I don't know what's going on with me lately. I'm losing too many fish. I don't lose fish, but it's, you know, what can I do? It's experience. All right, try to get another one. All right, I've been running up and down this beach. Beach fishing is really hard, man. You gotta really know what you're doing. Um, like I said, I'm not too experienced with beach fishing, but I'm giving it a whirl. Um, I got broken off snap twice. Um, and I couldn't tell you what they were. Maybe they weren't joys, because I'll be spewing them. Um, my feet are wet. It's it's sandy and you got you got to really know what you're doing down here. But you know, like I said, I'm gonna give it a whirl and hopefully I get something in. Still waiting, but you know, got to try. Hopefully, God willing, I get something. Let's do this. Different rod. And we're on. Oh shit, I'm on too. Yeah? What is he? Is he? Yeah, for about you're in. Great. Got me ugly, it's wet. Are you on again? Oh yeah.
Loosen your drag a bit. Not loose, but I don't want to too loose. Just like a click. Fucking seaweed. Fucking seaweed on it. Dead set. Still on? I've only got like five pound lead on this. Or well, eight pounds. Let's see if it does better than the 30. <laughs> Ruby. I just freaked out. I'm bringing this in, and it looks like the squid is holding onto the onto the little flatty. I'm just I don't know how I snagged it, but poor guy, look at him. He's still alive. He's tiny. He's dead, man. Got him straight through the side. Wow, our first fish. Hey! On the beach. I hate the beach. Hate the beach. Life's a beach. Hey? Life's a beach. It is. Oh, okay. I give up on the beach, man. Sorry, guys. Tangles, sand. Oh, so next time I do a beach session, it's going to be with my mates that know what they're doing, the professionals, etc., etc. But beach ain't for me. Back to this one. I'm not giving up yet. Um. I'm going to go to where I went last night where I kept getting busted off and we are going to suss out see if we get upgrade our gear and see if we get another couple of big runs and bring them in see what they are so wish us luck night hasn't, been, uh, hasn't ended yet thank god hopefully we get these big fish and yeah I hate it when I make videos and I don't catch much but it's life but hopefully I get some now going back to the entrance that's better. Out of the sand. So much better. Yeah, buddy. Ooh. What have you got, champion? Don't let it bust ya. Don't let it bust ya. What do you got on there? Ooh. What do you got on there, champ? I don't know. Feels like a bite up. Feels like a brim. Is there a worm on there? Oh, there's a bit of squid. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come down here, champ. Come down here. He's going to try to bust you. Yep, that's the way. Yep. Let's have a peek what he is. Oh. Well, there he is. It's a nice brim. 
Come on, bring him in before he tries to take you around the pole. Mate, he's trying. Oh, oh, yep, yep, yep. There he is. Just stuck in the weed now. Nice stonk of rim. Oh, yeah. See, that's what they, they went busting us the other night, mate. These brims. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah buddy. Him. Yeah, buddy. Nice little stonker. Hey, oh, 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 you're so lucky that didn't snap, G. You're so lucky that didn't snap. Oh fuck, see lines, these lines, man. Um Are you eating him? Yeah, we'll keep him. Okay, let's just take that off. Okay. Yes, nice brimmy. Blue nose. Sorry for a stop by mistake. Blue nose there. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. Oh, it tried to. Yeah, what a beautiful fish. Let's get some more, mate. Fuck yeah. You're out fishing me tonight. <laughs> While I'm here, I might as well just explain to you how to put these... Um, do a brim set up like I said this is for the people that don't know how to put how to do brim setups so first obviously you got some braid I like using I think we're about so big if you can see that properly so you put the obviously you put the through the hole of the sinker, obviously. Okay, and then a swivel. Good if I could find out uh, where it is. And my trusty little box. You want to like, you know, a small swivel, about that size. So when I do when I do my braid knot, look, not not everyone likes braid, but I love braid. When I do my braid knot, this is the best knot I've found. So all you do is just grab it like that, turn, 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 turn. So it makes like a little kind of loop like that, okay? Then you just get that hole. Where is it? You get the hole of the swivel, put it through. Put it through like that okay so it's it's going to have a little like a circle see like that and all you do is like tie a knot like doing up shoes like just tie a knot like that and put it through the hole put it through the hole do a tie and then that loop goes the other side of the swivel goes back through there the hole and then you just pull it tight pull both of them tight you cannot break this. It's like a really good, really good knot. I don't know if you've seen it. Watch it a couple of times. See if you got it. But with what I find when I use braid, it depends what kind of braid. It slips. I don't know if it's had any happen to someone. If they've had it like not a big fish and it's just broke everything, it slips. So th that knot doesn't allow it to slip. So you want an eight pound on there, eh? I'm doing my mate's rod because his rod just got tangled. So we're going to whack. I'm going to put six pounds because we'll have better success rate. Six pounds on the phone. And obviously when you're... So this... Oh, my phone. There goes my phone. Oh, sorry about that. this oh, oh yeah it's balanced it's balanced okay now a 
this point, dickhead. At this <laughs> point, you got braid, hook, a uh, braid, um, sinker, and the swivel. Okay. Like I said, it's not for the professionals. I'm not thinking I'm some big teacher. This is for people that don't fish and they've just started watching me. A lot of people, believe it or not, have just started watching and they say, look, I've just started, can I have some tips? They uh, inbox me all the time on my, um, on my, uh, what's it called? Mind blank, my Instagram. So I don't know if you can see this. Put one through the hole, and then again through the hole, like twice, and then you just turn with your finger. You do loops, holding on to the other end there. See? So you turn, turn. Oh God! My hands are so cold. Turn, 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 turn. And then back through the hole. And just pull. Look, if you do, you probably won't be able to see all this properly. But if you just go, if you are starting and you don't know proper knots and all that, just go onto YouTube and just say, you know, there's heaps of things that show you knots. Heaps of easier ways to explain it than my little dodgy ways. Because, what? What? Really? Um. Okay. With uh. With hooks, this is what I like for brim. Gamagatsu octopus, but they're not octopus hooks. They are octopus, but they're not the you know the ones that go right around circle hooks. I hate them, and their size one size one. Okay, they're really good hooks, really sharp, and they're just not too big, not too small. So, any fish that kind of swallows that, this hawk is going to be, you know, legal brim. Because all the other little brim, they won't be able to swallow that hawk if they're really small. And when you put that last hook on, and I'm blubbing on, back to, I want to get back to fishing. Through the hole, through the hole again. And then just turn, 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 turn. And then back through the hole. Am I going cross-eyed right now? I don't know. Back through, hold the end, pull. And always check it. Mm. Give it a good, give it a good pull. And not pull, pull. Give it a pull. All right. Can you come here, Lassie, please? I know I'm getting boring, but this video, I just want to make it because I'm not catching much fish. I might as well do something. Can you just take this? And um, I don't know. I don't think you can turn it over. You can't switch it over, can you? Why it's on that mode? Can you? Uh, just bring it here and turn it the other way. Now, when I'm going for this brim, come here, bro. We're just using like fresh. This is what we got the runs on the, like the other night. But we're just using fresh um, squid. Put a little piece on like this. And when you put it on, you want to just put it, the squid through like that once. Right? I don't know if you can see this. Twice, three times, three times lead there, and it's like that, so it looks like, you know, I don't know what it looks like in the water, a little bit of something, but they like it, and then you give it a cast, and you, yeah, obviously when you're fishing, I've explained this before, but if you do, you give it a cast, right, obviously you know how to cast if you're learning, take the barrel arm, Chuck it out, etc. Right? But there's another key thing. Come closer. 
it's good to take a few rods. Let me turn this off. It's good to take a few rods, right? And what you do is, on the top of this here, that's better. On the top of this here is a little latch. So when the line pulls, it makes that drag noise. So that's what you want. You don't want to put your rod, have it tight. The tighter you go, see, this goes tighter. So you go tight, it goes tighter. You go tighter again, it goes tighter. It just keeps on going tighter. That's a nice reel. Um, cheap, but nice. You want to, when you put your rod down, if you do put your rod down, it's always good to put, you don't want to hold your rod all the time and, uh, and it's just going to get so boring. So you put your rod down, you put this drag on, leave your rod, you know, and if it starts running, you'll hear that noise. And then you can come, tighten it a little bit and start bringing in the, bringing in the line. And you'll know how big the fish is. If you watch my other videos, you'll see I'm tighten a little bit and then the rod will pull and that stops it from snapping. If, if the fish, if you tighten all the way, and the fish runs and you pull, it's gonna go bing, it's gonna snap. So you don't want that to happen. You wanna play with the fish. You wanna loosen it if it's going fast. If, if, if it's really heavy, you wanna loosen your line a bit so it runs and then tighten it. And as you're winding, you'll know how to, um, where to lift and all that kind of stuff and, and when to let it run. So that's my little talk for tonight. Hope I was, um, I hope I can help you out, but yeah, let's catch some more fish. I'm being boring. Oh, by the way, if you guys haven't met Ruby, this is Ruby. Look at her little bum swinging. She just thinks she's a little princess. What's that, Bubba? That's my um, blue fawn pity, or stuffy, I should say. She's actually a bully. She's a standard bully. And she's pretty good. She follows me everywhere. I don't need a lead. I can just, everywhere I walk, she just follows. She's a beautiful dog. I love her. Right, she'll come back this way and she'll follow me. So it takes her. Here she comes. She'll go for a little walk and then she'll start coming back. See if there's prawns down here. <clears throat> Should be prawns in this, in the, all in this weed. But no, can't see nothing. I hate these that grass. It's so annoying. Can't stand it, especially here when you're fishing. Can't wait till summer here. Go prawning. Keeps a whiting. There she is. I didn't go far. I didn't go far, Bubba. How beautiful is she? Look at her. What a soldier. My baby gill, yes. Alright, back to fishing. So I threw out a little vibe. Whoa! And I want to know what it is. I don't know what these are, but there's some splashes. And I've just thrown it out. And um Sorry. we weren't getting nothing. I really hope. I hope it's a perch, I really do because I've never got a perch here, but I'm pretty sure it's probably Taylor. Yeah, it looks like a Taylor. Yep, it's Taylor. Decent size though. Yeah, nice size Taylor. So that's what's splashing around. And someone said to me the other day, um, I've only got four pound line on that, and someone said it was probably big Taylor, but if that was doing what it did the other day, <laughs> that'd have to be massive Taylor to do what they're doing. Because this one felt like a felt like nothing compared to the fight I had the other day. I need more pliers, I think. It was actually a nice size to eat. It's probably just legal, maybe, I don't know. I think they're supposed to be 30. Shit. That should be 30. I need more pliers. I'm gonna hurt him, man. Yeah, I need my pliers. Right. Should be legal. We'll measure him. You're not gonna believe what I caught and how fucking tight it is, cuz look at this. 
Look at that little fish that got hit. That's the smallest fish I've ever seen in my, in my life. What is it, a whiting? Or? I don't know. It's clear, whatever it is. Oh, poor Bubba. Look at him, he got pumped. He's so small. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Be nice to eat. Look how small he is. Oh, look at that one in your tackle box, but it's beyond. Good. Now I've got to find a dead little fish. Hmm. Okay, peeps. Um, wasn't the best video again, but I have to tell you is, it is winter and I'm gonna make some awesome videos this summer, like really good ones, like, yeah, I'm gonna go really hard this time, um, but I'm sorry I couldn't get a dewy, I'm sorry I tried, got some fish to eat at least, two fish, brim, etc, etc, um, yeah, I hope you still enjoyed it in some sense. I hope you learned some, a couple of things. But that's what it's all about, isn't it? It's it's about learning and um, yeah, just learning new things and, and getting taught new things. <laughs> Look at my mate. <laughs> you alright, G? Did you have a heart attack? Uh, Huh? Uh, yeah. So here we're dead. We're going, it's freezing. Um, Spewing, I lost that fish at the beach. That would have been nice. I think it was a dewy because the way it was giving good head shakes and stuff. But um, yeah, I will see you very soon. And it might be a while, I think. I think the waters really need to warm up a bit unless I go chase some snapper or something like that but um yeah enjoy it guys i've been getting a lot of comments sorry i forgot to tell you been getting a lot of comments and and thank you for that and all all the people that you know do enjoy my videos and them and them telling me big shout out to all them you know that it's it's good you know like i'm happy that they're liking my videos you know i did i just started off like i said i just started off doing it for a little bit of fun um but now, yeah, it's getting it's getting good. Like I'm meeting people and talking to people and explaining things, and and it, it just feels good to, you know, get young people fishing and getting out of trouble, and even the older people. But um, God bless, guys, and I will see you soon.